Hi guys, this is Emily Kupali again. Welcome back to my channel. This is my mini happy planner of this year and this is my January spread, how it is turning out so far because I am gonna be filming today my plan with me for my monthly spread of February and I am filming it kind of early because like I have mentioned before, I'll be filming only my monthly spreads for now and so I am going to try to have them ready earlier rather than later so that I have them up before the month starts. At least that's the plan. And in here, I am doing a quick flip through my planner and my month of January so that you have a peek of how it is turning out so far and as I have mentioned also, I have them posted on my Instagram account. So probably you have already seen all of them over there, but this is how I am decorating my planner this year. As you can see, I have different layouts and I am DIYing the most of them, like the vertical layouts and the dashboard layouts. For the vertical ones, I just created some simple boxes in some tables in Microsoft Word. And then I just printed them on like Happy Planner refill pages. And the dashboard ones, I am just using half of the horizontal layout that my planner had when I bought it and then some refill pages to create the dashboard part. So yeah, I am having a lot of fun with them and with all different kind of layouts and different kind of decorating and all of that. But for today, this is the sticker book that I will be using and I already pulled out some of the pages. And it's a beautiful sticker book. It's from Recollections from Michaels. And as you can see, it has like a San Valentini um, theme, kind of romantic theme, but it's not necessarily super San Valentine's Day in your face. It's almost more like a springy sticker book, but at the same time, it does have the the romance and love vibes in it and in the colors and the images and in everything. So I decided to use it and I am so glad I did because I absolutely loved how it turns out. And as you can see in my pages, I already sticked down some simply gilded washi tape. I actually ended up changing the washi tape on the edges of the holes because this one was a little too harsh for this tiny spread in my opinion so after i sticked down a lot of the stickers i wasn't liking how it was looking with the entire spread um with the rest of the stickers and everything even though it is a gorgeous washi tape and i really wanted to use it still i felt like it wasn't the washi tape for this spread so again i ended up changing it and i am glad i did because the other one i liked it a lot more with this theme and with these stickers and also you can probably notice that I covered the days of the week with the Bose washi tape also from Simply Gilded and the link to her shop is in the description of this video. But the reason why I covered the days of the week is because this is an undated planner so I had to place all of the numbers anyway. And because I was gonna go through the trouble of, like I said, placing every single number in every single day, I thought I would just go ahead and do some extra work covering the days and redating it to be a calendar starting on Monday instead of on Sunday because to be honest I have never understood why would the monthly start on Sunday and then the weekly spreads start on Monday because I know that technically like the week actually starts on Sunday but if I am gonna 
break the rules already on the weekly spreads, I would rather do the same on the monthly spread and have them both starting on Monday because otherwise for me personally it's kind of confusing. So I am doing that this year because like I said, I am having to place every number anyway. So it's not like I am completely redating and going through the trouble where all of the days I already labeled, you know? No, it's like I just have to cover the days as well and redate them with some date covers. For which in this case, I just created some tiny date covers myself on my silhouette software and i may end up bringing them to the shop but for now they were just some test date covers like some testing i was doing with them so i just created them for myself and those were inspired by some date covers that i used on my january spread which are from a sticker book that I got at Walmart and I really liked how tiny they were and how cute and pretty and just perfect for the space on the monthly spreads. So I pretty much based these ones on those or like I said inspired these ones on those. So yeah. And now, as you can see, I am just creating like a washi banner on the days that do not belong to February. And I am gonna do that only in here in this top corner, cause on the bottom row for those days, I will just be placing deco stickers. And as you can probably tell, I am not only using washi tape, but I am also using some like flags that were on the sticker book so they match perfectly the colors and the stickers and the theme and everything although because the most of those flags are very very thin it ended up looking almost kind of busy and messy in my opinion so next time maybe i wouldn't do something like that where i include a lot of thin flags but for now, I just left it like it because, like I said, those flags were just perfection for this spread. And like I said at the beginning, I changed the washi tape. And I also added a couple of stickers here and there to which I already pointed at, like you saw. But now I am just placing these corner stickers for marking the few things that I want to mark right now. Like you saw, I marked the paydays. I created like my payday corner stickers with those corner stickers and with some dollar signs from the Happy Planner. And now I am just using some script stickers and the corner stickers are gonna be like kind of the icon slash label for those script stickers so that they stand out a little more and that way I can also add some more color and decoration to the spread and like I said just some more deco stickers here in this bottom row and I am just creating kind of like a collage of stickers of the smallest stickers that are included in the sticker book and I really really like how it turns out and you can probably tell that this monthly spread is pretty tiny, especially in comparison with my previous classic happy planner. But I still had plenty of space to decorate and have fun with it. Like the sidebar is skinnier and so tiny. And still I had a lot of space to, like I said, have, have fun with it and add some really pretty stickers. And those planner stickers are from Fox and Pip, also link in the description of my video. And this is my spread all finished, you guys. It looks so pink and pretty and like I said, just romantic and springy and sweet. I absolutely love it. 
and I really hope you like it as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching guys and until next time, take care. Bye!